Hi, and welcome to episode 33 of The Whole Story. I'm Charlotte, and I'm joined by Paul, who is going to show us how to respond to an inspection. Episode 33. Wow, they said we'd never make it this far. Um, so, yes, today, Charlotte, we're going to be talking about responding to an inspection. This is functionality we've added to help with the uh, accuracy of the, the performance based inspection calculation. So without further ado, let's go into our inspections list page. Um, and I'm actually going to clear these filters. Fun fact, guys, we are going to be getting rid of these filters over the next few weeks. Um, they I don't think they're popular. Uh, and they haven't um, given us the, the performance benefit we were looking for. So uh, we can lose them, which is good. Now, I am going to go into one of these uh, inspections. Let's choose this old uh, routine reinstatement uh, failure. Um, and you can see here that we've now got for the first time in this uh, inspection, we have got promoter response, highway authority response. So uh, I'm going to, in this case, um, dispute this inspection. That's uh, more interesting, isn't it? Reason for dispute, um, we do not think there is a failure under the orc spec here submit response boom there you go i've now disputed that so if we go back to our um our list page clear those annoying filters again um and what i'm going to do is you see now we've got here on our inspections list page we've got promoter response and ha response so if i say show me the disputed ones apply filters you'll see there Rochester Row, the one we just disputed, promoter response now recorded as disputed. So um, once you go into or in preparation for April 1st, you can now start responding to these uh, inspections. Um, and, and I think it's worth saying, Charlotte, that what happens is when you dispute that um, category B failure, that say, um, it comes out of the the pool of of, of calculation for uh, your your failure rate. So um, you you won't be let's say there's um, uh, eleven inspections and then you've got that one failure. What we'll actually do is we'll calculate it on ten inspections, zero failures, um, and then in the next period of calculation uh, you'll work out what's going to happen with that one you've disputed you know will the highway authority uh withdraw it or will the um you know it will it end up being agreed uh and it will be included in the calculation period for the next quarter uh for more on this by the way do see the uh the webinar we did a couple of weeks ago on this topic right i'm going to log in now charlotte as a um highway authority person and I'm going to go into my inspections um, and I'm going to ditch these filters again and um, let's go into this one here on my uh, highway authority list page and I go into the inspection um, and you can see this is the one I just responded to. And now let's say in this uh, example, the um, there's a, a site meetings taken place, maybe a phone conversation, um, an email exchange, and we've ended up agreeing that this is a failure. Um, the the highway authority can come in here and choose promoter accepts failed inspection, submit response. Ah, there was a problem enter the reason for accepting. You see, so it's forcing you to enter something here um, and hopefully we can put something um, constructive in like um, email from Steve um, 13th of the 2nd, uh, 
agreed this was a failure after uh, extra picture shared with promoter. And I can submit response. And again, if we go back to our inspections list page, um, I'm going to turn those filters on again. So uh, promoter, HA response, promoter accepted. Oh, indeed, you can see there, that's the one that I um, recorded, Charlotte. So the message from me there is HAs only ever use that option once you've um, spoken to the promoter. You know, why did we design it like that? We did it because um, we're trying to get accurate information here. Um, and let's just say that we've got a promoter that's not using Street Manager as actively as the HA might like. So, that, so it gives the HA the ability to move forward with that um, on Street Manager after it's been agreed, uh, you know, on site or verbally or, or in, in writing. So there you go, Charlotte. Um, just before we leave it there, um, how does this link up to the non-compliance management functionality? Ah, great question. So, fun fact, we had this non-compliance management functionality all set up and ready to be built. Um, and you were disputing the, uh, the non-compliance or the defect, if you prefer, itself, Charlotte. What, what we've been doing here is disputing the, or accepting the um, inspection. Uh, and I preferred the world where we were responding to the, the non-compliance itself. Um, we're still proceeding with that functionality. We're still going to have that list page of your non-compliances, which is gonna be really good. We are just working out the fine print of how, um, you know, disputing an inspection then connects to the non-compliance uh, and how we can link those two things. Um, what we need to not do now in the new world, now we've built this functionality, but we had to sort of turn around at short notice and build this um, inspection response functionality to help um, performance-based inspections work as the industry wants it to Charlotte so we're still just working out the kinks there but non-compliance management is coming our way uh, so look out for that before uh, the the end of the year for certain you know once we've got a new API in the summer we'll start building that Charlotte. Thanks Paul and we'll see you on the next episode of the whole story.